Okay guys, here it is. We've got the Surface Pro 8 with Thunderbolt 4 running on my custom Aros gaming box with a 3060 inside of it. It was originally a 1080 GPU. I swapped the internal GPU with uh, uh, it's an Asus Dual 3060 and I wanted to show my results. Uh, Let's talk about how easy it was to install this GPU. Some Thunderbolt setups have security settings where you have to approve the device every time. Uh, I did not see any of that. Uh, those features may be there to be enabled, but uh, what I found was I literally just had to plug it in, and I had to plug it into the bottom USB port. Uh, the top USB port, USB-C port, did not seem to actually have Thunderbolt on it, but I could be... I could be wrong about that. I'll have to double check the specs, but for some reason it only worked once I dropped it into that bottom port. But once I did that, uh, it detected it right away in the device manager. And after installing NVIDIA's uh, GPU drivers, just like you would any other video card, uh, boom, we were up and running with the 3060 on our Surface Pro 8. So. Uh, performance here this is using the surface book screen because when you're using an eGPU if you're using the laptop screen itself uh, basically what that means is it has to send uh, data for processing out to the GPU and then send it back which is a little bit of a bandwidth issue because it has to go in and out uh, the second that you uh, use an external display this is the exact same setup um, except using a monitor plugged into the to the GPU uh, the score actually goes up because it's only uh, the, there's less bandwidth needed over the one wire but the other thing too is all you need is that one wire because that one wire will power the Surface Pro 8 over the USB-C um, and it will so you just plug that one thing in and you're good to go uh, so uh, uh, it it works really well. Uh, in fact, easier than any other Thunderbolt setup I've used. Probably because it, it didn't have any security that, that I could see. Just plug it in and go. So, um, super awesome. Uh, so this score here, 7160, is quite a bit higher than you could get. Uh, we did, we've been looking at the Laptop Studio, and I believe its score was just over 5,000. And uh, that's without even attempting to overclock this this gaming box which i'm sure i could get an extra 15 percent out of so much better performance um but you can do it all on the surface pro 8. i don't know what else to say about it because plug and play uh easy peasy and um it's super exciting i think this is going to be my daily driver setup this um, Black Pro 8 and uh, the Oros Gaming Box. Now, see, I, I don't game super often, and the XE graphics on the Surface Pro 8 are more than enough for me normally, but when I do have company over and I want to play a game uh, or travel somewhere, go visit family, and I want to be able to play some games with them, uh, this is a perfect solution uh, because it comes with a little bag. Uh, so um, let me do one more thing. Let me go grab uh, the XG Mobile from the ROG Flow X13 and we can see how that compares. Okay, so here's a comparison of the uh, 3060 and our XG Mobile. This is actually a 3080, really performant. Um, very efficient as well. Uh, this, however, does cost uh, $1,500. And uh, the cable's a little iffy on the, it's not iffy. Um, it actually has uh, four PCIe lanes through this proprietary cable, which is pretty nice. Um, really good performance on this, but uh, you almost have to have the XG Mobile in a precarious position in relation to the XG Mobile because you I mean this is about the range that you have and you can kind of flip it around um, but you don't want to bend this cable too much whereas 
a comparison, uh, the Surface Pro with this box, um, it's just a USB-C Thunderbolt cable and you can pretty much put it in any orientation you want. And uh, I mean, you can put it behind, you can you <laughs> kind of just do whatever you want with it. Um, in terms of volume, um, obviously this has much less volume, but usable space on the desk by the time you have this folded out, uh, they're not too different. Uh, they're about the same depth once you account for this thick cable. So, um, like I say, this is proprietary. This only works with the ROG Flow, where this eGPU, uh, even if I swapped the Surface Pro out for maybe a ThinkPad, with, anything with Thunderbolt would work with this GPU. So, um, I think uh, this right here, Pro 8 with my eGPU, is going to be kind of my travel setup. So, I'm excited about it.